So again, my name is Kat Packer. I'm the Executive Director of the Department of Cannabis Regulation, uh, and I appreciate LA Sanitation and their industry team organizing this event today. Uh, today, I'd like to share uh, some brief remarks uh, about the development of cannabis policy in the city of Los Angeles and also share some important resources related to the city of Los Angeles's cannabis licensing program and also our social equity program. So just a little bit of background in terms of cannabis policy in the city of Los Angeles, the Department of Cannabis Regulation was established in 2017 following the passage of Proposition 64, the Adult Use of Marijuana Act, uh, and also the passage of Measure M, uh, which at the local level allowed the city of Los Angeles for the first time to license and regulate commercial cannabis activity. Uh, alongside the establishment of the Department of Cannabis Regulation was the establishment of a five-member Cannabis Regulation Commission. Uh, and together today, the Department of Cannabis Regulation in our Cannabis Regulation Commission work hand in hand to advise the city on commercial cannabis laws and policies and to administer those commercial cannabis laws and policies. Uh, after the establishment of the department and commission, uh, the city council passed uh, what we refer to as the Cannabis Procedures Ordinance, uh, which effectuated the ability for uh, commercial cannabis businesses to receive licenses uh, at the local level. Uh, and City Council also incorporated a social equity program into the Cannabis Procedures Ordinance, making the City of Los Angeles one of the first jurisdictions to use its commercial cannabis licensing and regulatory framework uh, as a restorative justice tool to uh, repair the harms associated with the war on drugs. Uh, before I get into the specifics, I do want to share uh, an overview of some of the resources that folks can find on our website at cannabis.lacity.org. Uh, I've already placed into the chat the best email uh, if folks have specific questions for the Department of Cannabis Regulation, but to uh, articulate them audibly, uh, folks should email cannabis at lacity.org if there are any specific uh, questions, comments for the Department of Cannabis Regulation. Uh, we recently, over the course of last summer, reorganized our website to uh, streamline information and uh, make information re related to our licensing and social equity program more readily accessible. Uh, we have several menus and about menu, laws and policy menu, a licensing menu, and then a social equity program menu and a menu about personal activity and a complaint portal. I'll quickly walk through uh, some of the resources that folks can find under each of these menus. Uh, under our about menu, you can find specific information about the Department of Cannabis Regulation and our five member Cannabis Regulation Commission. Uh, the Cannabis Regulation Commission uh, meets regularly and I would encourage our uh, folks who are listening uh, today to uh, do two things in particular. Uh, one, to uh, sign up for our email alerts uh, so that when the Department of Cannabis Regulation sends out uh, correspondence and we do so regularly, uh, that folks would have an opportunity to have access to those materials, uh, but then also to sign up for notice related to our Cannabis Regulation Commission uh, meetings. Uh, under the laws and policy section, folks would be able to identify the specific uh, laws and regulations that the City of Los Angeles has established related to commercial cannabis activity. Uh, as previously stated, uh, the City has adopted a Cannabis Procedures Ordinance, but there are also uh, ordinances related to where cannabis businesses can locate. Uh, cannabis taxes and also cannabis advertising. Uh, we also include important uh, resources and links to uh, licensing and, and permitting uh, agencies that exist at the county level and at the uh, state level as well. We have a menu dedicated to our licensing program and there is a lot of great information uh, about our licensing program that can be found on this sub menu. 
Um, particularly, we let members of the public know how they can get involved in the licensing process. Uh, there are lots of resources related to our application procedures. Uh, we also have a licensing map uh, where people can readily identify where uh, licensees in the city of Los Angeles are located. Uh, and we have several video tutorials that we've developed over the course of the last several months, uh, walking folks step by step through uh, some of the different application processes that I'll uh, refer to later on uh, in this uh, brief presentation. We also have a menu dedicated specifically to the social equity program. Uh, the social equity program is a means by which individuals who are impacted by the war on drugs uh, can have equitable access to licensing opportunities. Uh, some of the benefits of the social equity program allow folks to get priority application processing, uh, as well as other uh, benefits like access to a financial grant program and access to pro bono legal services. We also on our website have uh, a complaint portal prominently displayed. Uh, we recognize that uh, members of the public and members of this industry uh, may uh, want to report either non-compliant activity happening at licensed facilities or unlicensed commercial cannabis activity uh, on our website, folks should uh, utilize the complaint portal uh, to share uh, any problematic uh, information or, or concerns about commercial cannabis activity happening with us, and we will route it to the appropriate party uh, within the city family. I do want to articulate that the Department of Cannabis Regulation does not have any uh, specific authority to enforce against unlicensed commercial cannabis activity, but if you share that information with us via our complaint portal, uh, we will route that to the uh, appropriate enforcement agency within the city. Uh, and this is just a screenshot of the licensing map that I had referenced uh, previously uh, that's available on our licensing, under our licensing menu. Uh, following the licensing map, folks can toggle on and see different community plan areas, um, see different uh, retail licenses that have been authorized. You can see different uh, pending applications uh, and then also sensitive uses that have been established as well. We'll briefly share information uh, in a broad sense about our, our licensing uh, program. So the city of Los Angeles has uh, divided its licensing process into three distinct phases. Um, so you'll often hear different correspondence coming out of the department referring to phase one licensing, uh, phase two licensing, or phase three licensing or application processing. Uh, phase one generally refers to the application processing that was afforded to the city's existing medical marijuana dispensaries, uh, and that began in January of 2018. Phase two generally refers to um, the application processing for the existing medical marijuana dispensaries supply chain. So folks who are engaging in cultivation, manufacturing, distribution uh, prior to adult use legalization. And then phase three generally refers to uh, the application process for new businesses, uh, both businesses who are participating in our uh, social equity program and, and those that are not uh, and that process began in September of 2019. Uh, this uh, chart and table that I'm showing you is available on the website, but I want, wanted to be able to articulate uh, what specific license types the city of Los Angeles has available uh, for folks who are seeking to participate in the industry and to also share information about whether or not there are limits on the number of businesses that can exist. Uh, and if we're currently accepting applications for those particular license types. Uh, so you'll see that there is not a cap or a limit on the number of testing labs uh, that can exist. Uh, we are currently accepting uh, applications for that activity. Uh, similarly, there's not a cap on the number of distribution uh, businesses. We can uh, currently accept those applications. Uh, there similarly is not a cap on non-volatile manufacturing we are also accepting applications uh, for that activity. There is a cap on what's referred to as volatile manufacturing, and we are not currently accepting applications for those activities. Uh, there is a cap on cultivation. We're not currently accepting applications for those activities. Uh, there is not a cap on delivery. We are currently accepting those applications, uh, but for delivery and retail licensing, only social equity applicants can apply for delivery or 
retail app, uh, application processing until January 1st of 2025. Uh, and um, lastly, uh, for retail activity, there is a cap on the number of retail facilities, sometimes referred to as dispensaries, uh, that the city uh, will and that the department will issue licenses for. We are not currently accepting uh, applications for that activity. There are several specific application processes uh, that the uh, department uses to accept applications from uh, prospective businesses interested in commercial cannabis activity. Uh, I want to briefly mention these today. There are tons of resources on our website dedicated uh, to helping applicants navigate through these various application processes. Each of the application processes that I'll mention has a, a video tutorial that our staff has put together. And so if folks are interested or uh, currently navigating through that process, I would actively encourage folks to uh, listen in to the video tutorial because we reference all of the different uh, procedures uh, and different forms and documents that folks need in order to get through the process. Uh, one of the processes that I want to mention is referred to as the public convenience or necessity process. This is a process by which applicants who are seeking to engage in retail activity specifically uh, and specifically uh, those who are seeking to engage in an area uh, where uh, the uh, community plan area has reached its limit can apply above and beyond uh, the limit that has been established. Uh, again, PCN activity or the PCN process is only for retail activity. There are essentially two ways that folks can apply for retail activity in the city. It depends on where they're applying. If you are applying in an area or a community, specifically a community plan area, uh, that has not reached its limit of the number of licenses that can be issued. Uh, you are going to apply through what we call phase three retail round two. That process has not begun yet. If you're interested, I would encourage you to sign up for our email alerts. Or if you are applying in an area that has reached undue concentration, then you will follow the PCM process. And again, there are resources on our website about how to get through that process. Uh, the PCM process really happens before a business even applies for uh, licensure. It's the process by which uh, they, they uh, can, can apply to move forward through the process uh, if council grants them uh, approval of above and beyond uh, the limit that has been established. But all businesses uh, are required to go through the next two processes that I'll describe. The first is referred to as the pre-application review process, and the second is referred to as the temporary approval process. Uh, the pre-application review process is the process that the department uses to determine if the location that an applicant is seeking to uh, engage in commercial cannabis activity is compliant. We first want to verify that the location is compliant for that particular commercial cannabis activity type. And once we determine that the location is compliant, then applicants can move forward through the temporary approval workflow. There are a lot of uh, details related to the temporary approval workflow. So what I want to be able to share with folks today, uh, again, is that we have several resources, including a video tutorial about how to navigate through the temporary approval uh, workflow uh, moving forward. As mentioned previously, we are currently accepting applications for delivery, distribution, non-volatile manufacturing, and testing uh, application processing. So if there are newer prospective applicants who are interested in that process, uh, you can find our licensing um, portal and application online. We only accept uh, applications online. And this is a good time to mention that right now, 100% uh, of DCR staff are telecommuting uh, which means that our public service counter, our physical public service counter is closed, uh, but we do have a virtual public service counter uh, that is available Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, and if folks are interested in uh, contacting uh, our virtual public service counter, again, you can email cannabis at lacity.org or call our main line at 213-978-0738. Uh, we'll very quickly share information about our social equity program. Again, the mission of the social equity program is to promote equitable 
uh, ownership and employment opportunities in the cannabis industry uh, and to address the disproportionate impacts of the war on drugs in those communities. There are a number of benefits that uh, the ordinance has uh, established for uh, participants in the social equity program. More information about these benefits can be found online. Uh, but there is priority application processing, educational assistance in the form of uh, business licensing and compliance assistance, different financial assistance programs, including a fee deferral program and a financial grant program. And then there are other resources that have been made available by the state of California, uh, specifically the state licensing agency, uh, which is currently referred to as the uh, Bureau of Cannabis Control, uh, has an equity unit. Um, and uh, their email address is bccequity at dca.ca.gov. So if our applicants are interested uh, in additional support from the state, particularly in navigating the state licensing process, uh, those resources uh, exist uh, as well. Uh, that is uh, all of the information that I wanted to uh, share with folks today. But again, I appreciate LA Sanitation and their industry team for organizing this event. Uh, we look forward to continuing partnerships between the Department of Cannabis Regulation and uh, other agencies in the city family to and ensure uh, a successful rollout and implementation of uh, legalization and commercialization uh, in what is increasingly referred to as the world's largest cannabis market. So thank you for your time. Uh, and if folks have follow-up questions, please feel free to contact uh, the department at cannabis at lacity.org. Thank you.